this is the second one on balancing equations and this if it goes a little fast go back and look at my first one and um and don't worry i think you'll be able to nail it once you've seen both of these okay so i'm going to pick an everyday equation that comes up often in your gcse's it's going to be iron oxide so that's fe2o3 plus a carbon monoxide producing iron plus carbon dioxide. Okay, just like we've done before, the simplest thing to do is draw up your line. Once you've drawn up your line, pop down the number of atoms that are actually there to begin with. We've got two ions and three oxygens, plus one carbon and one oxygen. All right, that's your reactants. You've got one iron and one carbon and two oxygens in your products. Okay, I don't know if you can see this yet, but we've got four oxygens in our reactants and we've got two in our products. So the best thing to do at this point is to add in another carbon dioxide. Okay, so if you're gonna add in another carbon dioxide, pop up the two and add in your carbon dioxide below the line. All right, now we've got four oxygens, but we've actually got two carbons. So let's come back to our reactants and add an additional carbon monoxide. Okay, so now what we've got is we've got the right number of carbons, but we've got an additional oxygen. At this point, hold your nerve and keep going with those carbon monoxides, because really the next number that those oxygens are going to work out at is six. Just as a little heads up, we don't take you much beyond six in maths at GCSE in chemistry. Okay, so my gut says, Let's take away that two and add another carbon monoxide, making it three. Okay, so in goes your three. And then pop it down below the line. All right, now we've got three carbons on one side and we've got two carbons on the other. So let's go back to our products and change that to two or three. So we're adding in another carbon dioxide. Okay, now we've got most of it is balanced, but we've got two ions in our reactants and only one in our products. So let's add an additional iron. And like I've said before, the nice thing about balancing equations is you do not leave this without knowing whether or not all the reactants have been cancelled by all of the products. And when you have, and they all cancel out, you've nailed it. Let's have a little look. Okay, so we've got one, two ions in our reactants, cancelling one, two ions by the products. One, two, three, four, five, six oxygens in our reactants. One, two, three, four, five, six oxygens in our products. And lastly, one, two, three carbons in our reactants and one, two, three carbons in our products. Alrighty, I hope that made it easy. Leave a comment down below and let us know if we've nailed it. Or drop us a line at Learn at Cadizzi if there's other things you need us to cover. I hope we made that easy.